Alright boys, so we out here uh, heading down to Hakeem's garage. We're gonna work on his Integra. We're gonna do the, finish off a little bit of the bodywork that's left. Um, it's got some Popeyes. We've got the automatic. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see how things go. Hopefully but, uh, my car doesn't blow up soon because... He's worried about those boys over there. Uh -huh. I don't think those boys really do much. Uh, so you tell me you never got an engine light before, Dad? Yeah, and you just clear them. I'm just kidding, I actually fixed my engine light issues, so like, when there was issues with the EVAP, I fixed the purge valve and stuff like that, when there was a misfire, I changed the plugs, you know, like, I I go through those things, you know, I, yeah. I, I take care of my car. Yeah. You, on the other hand, you know exactly why this on lights driving. on. You know exactly why the lights on. It's yeah. a transmission issue, he's going to change the transmission to like one of them sticky boys. Yeah. Alright, so we just got back from the underground parking lot, aka our mechanic shop, and it is busy as heck because everybody's doing their shopping. And uh, okay, sorry, we're gonna go to our spray booth, and we're gonna we're gonna see if it's empty, because uh, odds are, because it's all rainy out here, and nobody's gonna be in it. So that's a good spot to we, sand we down booked, the car and we book spray paint time. It out. Yeah, we book the spray time for it. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is what we do out here. We've made it to our little spray booth over here. Uh, see, sometimes because we know the owner, they usually charge people to use this, but uh... Yeah, four dollar spray booth. Not today. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is, the car's a little bit wet. We're gonna wet sand the whole, uh, not the whole car, but a good amount of it. Uh, <laughs> this is a stupid idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna wet sand the car, and we're gonna prime it in here. Okay, so we're in our special paint booth spot. We got the car kind of sanded down-ish. Uh, my son's just got to clean up his side a little bit more. We got some problems down there. We're dealing with a lot of basically some Bondo situation. But we're going to probably cut it all out in the spring anyway. But for now, we're just going to prime it. Probably give it a shitty little paint job just for, uh, you know, for fun. We've got... Most of it taped off ish. Close enough. If we get some spray on the windows, it's whatever. What do you think? How's it gonna look? I don't know, man. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. We'll try it anyway. So we switched primers real quick and we got a lighter one that goes on a lot more thicker. Uh, it doesn't look too bad for what it is. I mean, realistically this makes no sense to do because we're going to drive it right into the rain and the cold. But I told my son, I said, uh, you know what, why don't you just wait for a nice warm day in the summer to do this? And he was like, no, I want to do it now. So we're going to do it now and we're going to do it again in the summer because it's just going to wash right off. Now we can see all the spots we got to hit up again. So like. A little bit of the hood, needs to be, uh, the trunk needs to be touched up, it's a little bumpy. Uh, that's got to be filled, those holes, we're going to screw back onto here. Uh, a little bit of water droplets on the thing, so you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it when it focuses, there. There's water droplets everywhere, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We taped off majority of the car. We continued one line all the way down to the front. Don't worry about the overspray, it's okay. We're gonna fix that up later when we paint the whole car. But uh, yeah, we didn't worry about taping off anything besides the glass, because that's what was basically important to do. But um, there's a lot of like little nubs and bumps all over this uh, part of the bumper. I really don't know what happened. I'm guessing there must have been like a moisture or something spraying. Oh, it's this. So there's a water droplet right there and it's splashing up onto this right now. Uh, it's it's whatever like it's primer. It's gonna be sanded down This is just for us to see What we need to fix on the car, but uh 
Yeah, she doesn't look too bad in gray. Okay, so this is what the car looks like right now. It's all uh, primed up in the back, I guess. It looks not too bad. Uh, my son over there, I don't know what he's doing. But we taped off this side half decently. We, we got lazy at the bottom there. But you can get an idea of how the car is like, you know, needs some work. But over here is all this Bondo work. Not very good, but that's whatever. Okay, so we're gonna head home. We finished priming the car, it looks okay. That's alright. And uh, yeah. You should have filmed it driving out. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's a little bit rainy, so this is not the best thing. Again, we're just driving around with uh, all the primary oil getting wet, but it's whatever. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for this episode. Quick one, uh, nothing too special. Basically, just uh, did a little bit of work in the little paint booth over there, and yeah, heading home now. Oh, he fucking took off. Look at him. <laughs> he did a zoom.